Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. Now, I have a plan for today. I've decided I want three times ore processing. Now, this isn't going to work for all ores, but it is going to include some two times processing as well, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, so, the first thing we're, well, actually, the first thing we're going to need, if we're going to start at the absolute back of the line, is an electrolytic separator. Now, this is made with osmium dust, iron dust, gold dust, and enriched alloys. So we're going to need one of these. I don't know if we're going to need another one in order to support what we're going to do, uh, but one electric, uh, electrolytic separator should be good for now. Uh, there we go. Now, this will produce the oxygen that we need. Now, that needs water, so this is why we have the reservoir, the bucket, and the water sigil. Now, that is going to feed into a purification chamber, which I don't... Uh, okay. Now, I believe that if I run this through... I think I have to enrich it. This isn't going to be enough... Uh, we're going to run it through here. We'll get four. It'll be faster. So this should get us what we need. I think we only... I think we needed two atomic cores. I didn't look hard enough. Uh, purification chamber. Control circuits. One, two, three, four. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to feed the oxygen into the purification chamber. Now, when it... Really... Lava. Really. Really. Uh, where's my portable tank? And do I have any netherrack? I should. Oops. One, two. So, I do have a way to acquire myself some lava. I hadn't really thought about it before. But, uh, I'll let this run in here. It'll take a little bit and I suppose we'll work on the other machines. So it is going to go into the crusher, and then after the crusher, it goes into an enrichment chamber, which I don't think I actually made one of these. I'm pretty sure the enrichment chamber I had, uh, I found, but it's pretty simple. Steel casing, control circuits, enriched alloys, and redstone. And then, of course, the final thing in the line, we're going to smelt it, which is pretty simple unless you're clicking on the one that's the harder control circuit. And it's just glass, cobble, steel casing, and control circuits. And I forgot the steel casing. I'm good at this game. Okay, so, while we are waiting on the lava, which is hopefully, okay, it is done, uh, however, there's a downside. I don't have enough buckets. That is not the amount of iron I needed. That is. Can never have enough buckets. I say that because I always seem to be running out. Uh, I'll leave that there. If I need it later, I know where it's at. So, now we should be able to make the crusher. As soon as I figure out where it is. Crusher. Except I need control circuits. I need a steel casing. And I just need the lava buckets. There we go. And that will pull that back into there. So, now we have everything we need here. And I think... Let's see, one, two, three... Uh, there's, what, four machines? So I'm going to need 16 of these. Oops. So we're going to need... I'm going to make a basic factory crusher. A basic factory... What? I had another crusher in there? Oh, well. Basic factory enrichment chamber. Get in there. Basic factory that, and a basic factory of the purification chamber. I shouldn't really need higher at the moment, and I'm already worried that the oxygen output is going to keep up with the purification chamber, but we'll see how that works out. So I'm going to demolish this. The whole thing. these out of my inventory.
Whoops. Uh, hmm. Go. I need to repair the wall. I broke the wall. There. So, we're still going to be using Steve's factory manager, but I need to replace these. Well, I don't need to, but I'm going to replace every single one of them with facades so I can run power directly up into them. There we go. That said, I'm going to need some conduits. I'm going to need to make some more soon, because I'm slowly depleting my supply of them. Minecraft's being a bit laggy lately for some reason. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, actually, there might be a reason for that. Well, no. No. The answer is no. Because I said so. Okay. That will go there. That should auto-eject into the chest. So that should be good to go. You are smelting. You are the last in the line. You are enriching. You are crushing. You are purification. And you are the electrolytic separator. So we want to... Uh, I believe... I'll uh, figure out which side is which when I get there. So, we need to get water into this now. So what I think I'm going to do... Is I'm actually going to set this up down here. Uh, that right there. Actually, no, I want that horizontal, because I want to be able to walk under it. Okay, so I'm going to need... Do I have any more pressurized? I do. Anything larger than a two-block space, I like to use... Or, you know, anything larger than a one-block situation, I prefer to use... Uh, pressurized, because I don't want it to expand not expand. Well, yeah, but, well, no. Uh, I don't want it to not be in the block, if that makes any sense. So we're making hydrogen, which I don't want to do. You can go away. The oxygen is filling up in here. I'm going to set these to auto sort, because I just don't care. And I'm going to need upgrades for them, but it's going to be pretty simple. And... Uh, Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these. Am I missing something here? Dark blue. And red is in. Dark red. Okay. Dark blue. Dark red. And that should be good. I'll leave the red on the top of there. Because what I'm going to do... Let me go grab a hopper from my little setup here. Because I'm thinking I have at least some ore. And I want to show you just how this works. Ore. Uh... I have six iron ore. And I have six copper. And I think it works with osmium. So we'll grab that. So it's pretty simple. That makes an interesting noise. Is this keeping up? It looks like it, but no, no, it's running out of oxygen. Uh. Eh, that's not really an issue. I say it's not really an issue because this won't lose progress. It'll just stop. And eventually I'll have to get more oxygen into it. 
but that shouldn't be a huge issue. I'll just feed it in the back, I think. Or is the problem... Purple? And see what I mean? It'll just slow down. Why are you... Oh, whoops. Auto eject on. Auto eject on. Auto eject on. Auto eject on. I believe it goes into the crusher. Do you not go into the crusher? Crusher. Oh. I mean, these are reverse. Just, just that one. So then that will run through the crusher, which these aren't sped up yet, but it's fine. Uh, once they hit the crusher, they'll move over into the enrichment chamber. And then, as you can see, we have three of these. And then they'll all be smelted down. And until I get this configured, we're going to not end up with the right thing. So, ingot. I want a copper, steel, tin, bronze, lead. Bronze, tin, copper, steel. Did I already put tin in there? I think I did. Lead. There we go. That should sort that out for the most part. Uh, I don't have aluminum in there. Or aluminium, or... I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, I'm going to need to get... more... I don't think the issue here is that the water is not keeping up. I think I just need more electrolytic separators. So... Uh, whoops. Oh, come on. The good news is, I slightly prepared for this... By slightly, I mean, uh, we'll just run eight of them. I made a bunch of tin and gold dust. Okay. Uh, oh, we're going to need the, no, 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 pressurized tube. Uh, we'll get 16. This is what will transfer our oxygen. Where am I going? To the system. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, knock out the back of this. Ooh. I'm going to have to refill the water now. That's unfortunate. Eh, at least it's not hard. Now my only concern is whether or not this reservoir will be able to keep up with the demand that we're about to impose upon this. So we will... Oh, that is, that is the wrong side of this situation. Uh, magnet, please. Okay, so... You go back there, and you can just go in there, because I don't care. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run our pressurized cable down, and I'm going to put all of the electrolytic separators, alright, I have to use this, along a line here. No, 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 no. 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 No! Why don't you listen to me, machine? Probably because I'm not clicking in the right spot. That's beside the point. If this doesn't satisfy the oxygen needs of this situation, I'm going to believe that there's something hideously wrong. Uh, actually, I think oxygen is red. Okay. Bonk. Oh, no. 
No, no, can't click on this with anything. Dump, dump, dump. I'm doing this because I'm not entirely sure which is which, and I just want to be 100% sure. I think the, the problem with the little spikes here has to do with the facades. So I'm gonna need some more conduit. Uh, we'll get the we'll depressurized cable and some more conduit. Run that there, even though that's not necessary in this situation. Throw that back in. And... Ooh. I guess I have to run the water in the bottom. Actually, you know what? No. You go away. I can put the one that's up there. This one right here. I can put it in this spot. Yeah. Uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pretty good. I didn't want to put anything on the bottom, but the situation I've created pretty much requires it. Are you receiving water now? You are receiving water. Are you receiving it equally? They do seem to all be receiving it equally, and it seems to be keeping up with all of their demands. Now, for the great question. Is this keeping up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I broke something important. Okay. Appears to be full. We'll come back to this in a second. I'm going to make the upgrades. Oop. Give back my NEI, please. So I need a stack in eights. I need four. It's one set for each machine. Uh, get rid of all the stuff we don't need on us at the moment. That should be pretty much everything I don't need. And then we're going to need energy upgrades. A lot of them. And that seems to have been the last of my gold dust, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to start with the energy upgrades, because these things will devour power like mad. Did, Did I? I don't think I had enough energy upgrades for that. I'm going to take the energy upgrades out of this, because out of all the machines, this one's probably going to do the least number of runs. Although I should... Uh -huh. See, I was partly prepared. One, two... Buckle somebody's shoe, not mine. So, all in all, each one of these, the most power they're going to pull is 600 or if it take 200 per operation, and they can do three operations each. So, we're looking at about 2400 when running full bore here, which is... I can keep up with that. Now, what I'll probably want to do is I'm going to have to set it up so certain things... And I'm not going to get any extra outputs from this, unfortunately. But it doesn't really matter considering most ores will provide me what I need. So like, 
for example, and I'm going to fill in this hole with this guy. So we're going to run these along here. Uh, yeah, I don't really have to deal with any extra outputs. So, uh, actually, I'm going to do this the intelligent way. I'm going to create a command group. I'm going to go into the command group. This is going to be the input. The only reason I'm doing this is so I can keep track of which is which. Now I'm going to pull from, in this case I'm going to bring this guy down. He's going to do the inventory that I pull from, for now. Uh, chore, whatever. You're going to pull everything I put in you. And, wait, no, no you're not. The reason why it's not is because this is going to be the purification chamber, and so we only want to put uh, things into the purification chamber that we know we can get extras of, which I believe is a lot of things. Uh, I wish to, oh, no, or dictionary support you. Uh, lead, or, you know what, let's just leave it at or and scroll down through this. Do, 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 it, it's pretty simple. I'm not sure how the nethers, nether ores work with this. I believe I have to smelt them first, and then I can run them back through the system. Uh, unfortunately, what I've set up here doesn't really support that. Oh, tin ore. Or dictionary support. Lead ore, or dictionary support. Uh, I don't know if it can handle ferrous. Actually, there's an easy way to figure out what it can and cannot support. If we look down here, it supports iron, gold, osmium, copper, tin, silver, lead, and obsidian. Uh, obsidian will end up only making, I believe... 400% output, something like that. And we can four times this by inserting a chemical injection chamber, but that would take hydrogen chloride, and that requires hydrogen, which we could deal with, but then that requires chlorine, which is made from brine. And there is five times processing in mechanism, but that is beyond the scope of what we can hope to accomplish at this moment. But that, I believe, is all the ores we can directly support into this system. So you're going to import into the purification chamber. The way I set this up, uh, distance, it should be easy to go left to right. Now, I'm going to rename this command group to purification because I'm lazy and don't feel like putting chamber on the end of it and because chamber wouldn't fit there now there is obviously a few other ores that I wish to process directly through this system uh, I don't know if the metallurgy stuff properly shows up in uh, Steve's factory manager yet but I suppose we'll find out. But things I wish to run through here. Obviously, I want to do mod detection on that. There is... Uh, I was afraid of that. As you can see, the for some reason, the metallurgy ores do not show up in here, and there's pretty much nothing I can do about that, at least not directly. I could indirectly filter them into a different chest as an input, and then just have everything pulled from that thrown into the enrichment chamber, and then it'd come out from there. But I can't really do anything with the current situation, so yeah... Uh, what other ores do I really need to process at the moment? I don't think...
think any, really. So you see this is five cables away. And I wish to input it into the west side. So input into the west. I could just configure them all to also support inputs on the top. But, oh well. And I suppose I probably don't have any aluminum to show that this works. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any bauxite. Uh. What? Where did I leave my digital miner then? Oh. Let me check this. Oh? My digital miner is somewhere. I was using it to get me iron, I think. Well, let's just see what ores remain in here. Uranium. Yeah, I can't really do anything with what's in here, so unfortunately I can't really show you, but... Partly because I don't know where my digital miners at at the current moment. But this does seem to be keeping up. Uh, oh. This is why I need to dump hydrogen, because otherwise it backs up the entire system. So, I believe we have enough oxygen production now to keep up with this. And this will triple any of the standard. Was it five, six types? No. Back up. The standard six types of ore used in most mods. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm missing one in this list. Oops. Granted, this isn't a standard ore, so it kind of defeats the purpose of my entire statement. But it is an ore added by mechanism itself, and that's why it supports it. So, that will triple those normal ores and that's going to be a good thing because whenever we eventually because I know I'm planning on doing it eventually I'm going to get into the five times processing I'm going to need to get a, a salination plant I had to think what it was called and I didn't feel like looking the salination plant which is what's used to make brine and then that's used to make the other things so we can actually get into the five times processing. Uh, if we just look at mech real quick, we should be able to establish the entire process. So, clean lead slurry, chemical washer, lead slurry. So, if we run the ores into here, in the chemical dissolution chamber, run it through sulfuric acid, which is made from water vapor, which takes a rotary condensator, condensator, conden something, condensator. Yeah, rotary condensator. That takes, you need oxygen and sulfur dioxide to make that, and sulfur dioxide is made from sulfur. Oddly enough, you can make sulfur from gunpowder, which seems like a complete waste. Although I could technically direct mine for sulfur and then everything would be cool. Or... I actually have some sulfur ore. I realize I spelled sulfur wrong. We're not going to discuss this. What? Oh no, that's uh, yellow right. But I have sulfur. Decent bit of it. But, uh... We got three times ore processing going, so I'm going to call this episode good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day!